the area. Flush with their victory, the party decided to explore the rest of the caves and quickly discovered how appropriate the no-no place had been named. Hugh had a close brush with death after one of the cave fishers decided to die on top of him in the pool, uh, but decided to honor his foe by dismembering it and attaching its sharp chitin to his armor and draining the rest of its blood for later consumption. Takes all kinds, I guess. Uh, when the townsfolk were safely brought back to town, the party was pulled aside by the dwarven innkeep Morak. He expressed his concern that Zolkin uh, was not sending word to the son and heir of the Nandars, who should be the new lord of Nightstone. He commissioned the party to deliver a letter, offering as payment a magical rope of climbing and a raven figurine that could summon a real raven to deliver a message. The party decided to take the more direct overland route heading north the very next morning. Uh, and I did go ahead and make up a little uh, letter thing. So this is the letter and the letter's seal. I, it Whoa, should have shown up you for you guys. Right? Uno? Uh, I might have found it. Okay, it's still cool. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling very uh, into it. All right. So yeah, you guys are carrying a letter. It is sealed. So that's that's the other thing I wanted to make a point, right? So you know, it has this wax seal on it. So if certain yeah, people who are not here, I was expecting to try and open the letter. You know, keep in mind it's sealed. Yeah, I was gonna say if anybody seals unseals this letter, I'm gonna be so fucking embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's see. I'm trying to. I can't remember what the control is is it shifting yeah there it goes so yeah this is where we are right so we're in nightstone um i think we had gone over the the path but it was something like you know if you went down and around this way it would have been a day longer than if you cut through the forest and then there was like a little bridge right up here <clears throat> and then so we, and we're going to ask the elves if they had seen uh any sign of the nightstone or that's true and you were curious to meet the elves uh although you know when you mentioned like would you guys have mentioned this to uh like anybody in town no, that you were good. you were elf happy uh no i, I think we did, we're okay. just talking to what's his face to morak yeah well would you have mentioned that you were like would you have mentioned you want to see the elves to him I think we. I think he told us about the elves. I Do you remember I, what he told you about the elves? They're um, not nice. They're not nice. All right. As long as somebody knows that they're not nice, they that's fine. They ain't nice. And they thank, ain't. They ain't thank so God nice. Thank the only one that can speak Elven. <laughs> Wait, really? I, think I don't so. know. Can you? Sir, as hell can't. I don't like to speak their ugly, shitty language. You know. Oh, okay then. Oh, is that your pre disdigmentus No, your premonitions? Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay, so yeah, so it's it's the morning after you guys are, are setting out from Nightstone, heading north. I mean, is there anything in particular you guys?